Hello world and welcome to another episode of Launch Math. In this episode, I want to talk about a new feature that allows you to convert existing Dynamo tables into global tables. If you're interested in learning more about serverless cloud computing or software engineer practices in general, subscribe to my channel in the red button below. I post a video every Tuesday. So let's get started. This is the 10th episode on launch math. Yeah, I think we are in the middle kind of. So I'm posting a video every day from the 1st of December to the 31st. 35th of December, without the weekends, because I rest, uh, about all reinvent launches. So it's a video every day. So stay tuned. And if you have not seen the previous video, check the description box to find all the videos. They are really good. I'm making demos and I'm showing you ways of doing a lot of the launches as infrastructure as code, as always. So let's talk about global tables. So global tables were launched in 2017 and it's a feature that allows you to have a Dynamo table be replicated in different uh, regions. And that's really cool. It increased the amount of availability, that uh, the, decreased the amount of latency between your customers and the tables. And it also helps to make the system more resilient because you have the uh, application distributed across different regions. However, the global tables were not able to be set up from the beginning. Well, you can only set it up from the beginning in a Dynamo table. So you created your Dynamo table and in that moment you need to know that you want to go global. And in general, that's not how really applications work. In general, people start up building an application in a one region, small thingy, and then that application grows. And the whole idea of going global becomes a reality. And then what they need to do is to migrate that table to a table that has the global enable. And that was painful because migrating data is hard. So now with this new feature, you can just change with a few clicks your normal one region Dynamo table into a multi region global Dynamo table. So that's pretty cool. When you have a global table, you can define in which regions the table will be replicated and everything is fully managed by AWS, the replication between the different regions and uh, how the master works. You will have a multi-master, so it's not like one node rules it all. Everything is kind of managed there. So everything is managed by AWS. You only need to enable this feature and woof, it works. So now I want to show you how you can get done that because I think it's a very important thing. If you're building a, a production ready application in serverless, it's really important that you have support for multi-region because it will remove a lot of your latency and make your application faster and your customers happier. So let's go to the code and see how we can get that done. So here I have a simple application that has a function, super simple function and a table. So I will deploy this. Uh, it's important to have, in order to enable the global tables, the stream, Dynamo streams enabled with the new and old images. If you don't know what is a Dynamo stream, I leave you a link in the description box so you can learn about them and what they are and how to use them in Dynamo. But that's the only thing you need to have enabled when you're working with the global tables. The global tables enablement cannot be done from CloudFormation, so we need to go to the console or then you can do it through the API. But I will show you in the console so you understand what we are doing. So when this finished deploying, we go to the console. Good, now it's deployed. I will open Dynamo. And I will add some items into my table because, well, before uh, we can always create global tables without items. So let's add some items to prove that this works. I have a couple of items. And now this is my table. I go to global tables and here you can see add a region. So you just press the air and you, pre you select which region you would like to have a replica of this table. I will choose Ireland here. So I can create a replica and this will take a little while. I come back when the replica is ready because it takes a few minutes to get this 
this configured. So now after a couple of minutes we can see that the two tables appear here. We have the one in our region that is active and then we have the new one that is in Ireland that is created right now. You can see that the capacity is on demand for both because that's how we set it up in the cloud formation. And then if we click on here and we open the table in Ireland, we can see that the table is being created and this will take again some more minutes. So let's wait for this to be created and I come back when this is ready. Good, so now after maybe five minutes, everything is activated and working. So if we go again to Ireland, we can go to items and we can see that our items are here. So we can add a new item, let's see. And then if we wait for a little bit, it should get replicated here as well. Now we can see it here. So if we want to delete this stack, First, we need to delete the global table and then we need to de delete the stack. So the first thing we need to delete is the region here and then it will let us delete the whole stack. So have that in mind if you want to try this out and you want then to remove it. This was the video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give a big thumbs up and we are getting in the middle of our run of launch mass. So I hope you're having fun and leave me in the description box if you are some launches that you would like to see or some of the launches that I have been talking about that you would like me to go deeper and give better examples. For now, this is a video for today. I hope you like it. Give thumbs up and put comments so my videos are staying relevant and other people can see them. And I see you tomorrow with another episode on Launch Mask. Bye bye.